Damn. <laughs> We're all screwed. Uh, <laughs> so, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> Surprise! You get opinions now. <laughs> I gotta ask this question. Do you guys like Iron Maiden? Any of you even know who they are? I went to an Iron Maiden concert on accident one time. Yes, no, maybe. No. I didn't <laughs> Too hard for you. I didn't understand why there were a bunch of men dressed up as pharaohs. Apparently that was a thing yeah, that they yeah. did. Seventh son of the seventh son must yeah. have been that one. How long ago? That was uh, about eight years ago. Eight years ago. Huh? Run to you, the hills. <laughs> you know they're they're the biggest metal band in the world for the past forty years. Run I grew up with them actually. If you would have said you didn't know, that would have been it. I was gonna walk out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Leave. kidding. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, I'm really happy to have you both here. So there's a lot of misconception about, you know, some of the stuff that I do all the time, and I'm sure, and, and you guys in industry also. Can you tell me what that is exactly? So um, <clears throat> in the stem cell world, a lot of people think that stem cells come from aborted fetuses, mm -hmm. um, and that's something that we're constantly battling. Um, we don't get stem cells from aborted fetuses anymore. That's embryonic stem cells, and it's illegal in the U.S. So I've actually had people come in and say, you know, my husband doesn't know I'm here because he's against this. And I have to say, well, that's not what we're doing. We're using adult cells, and the technology is there now. That's one of the biggest ones I get. And you, Tracy? Massage is not just for relaxation. <laughs> Amen to that. It turns out. It turns out. Um, if... if I kind of feel like if you're falling asleep while I'm working on you, I'm doing it wrong. So, for what it's worth. That's kind of the biggest misconception, though. I the, think. Yeah. So, let's say if you would kill a rumor, what that would be? I got a million ideas. <laughs> Tell I'm not gay. That's my... Like, that's, <laughs> that's a number that's one. one. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like, rumor related to what? Um, not... Not all massage places are, are human trafficking sites. Um, it's, it's probably more common than we want to admit, but, but um, we're not all that way either. So, I, I, you know, I know that might be controversial to say, <laughs> but it's, we're not all that way. <clears throat> there are no Chinese women hiding in the back? No. <laughs> No victims of uh, white slavery in our in our building. Even though I'm on Kennedy, you are on Kennedy. <laughs> I'm on Kennedy too, but we're. Yeah. I mean, it's not so bad anymore. No, Kennedy's no. not so bad anymore. No, that's that's for the that's for the people who've lived in Tampa for a long time. So one of my slogans that I was thinking about was I'm. You know, my office is the place on Kennedy, the massage place on Kennedy, where your wife's okay with you going. So that's, but I think that just knows that it's like a zip. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments? No comment. Zero comment from over here. <clears throat> no rumors to dispel. Um, yeah, I would say that um, stem cell isn't so new. It's one of the first things out of people's mouth. What do you do? Stem cell? Oh, that's new. Um, we've been using these protocols successfully in the U.S. since 1999. Wow. Um, so that's almost 20 30, years. Yeah. I don't think it's that new. Um, no. But it is new in regards to medicine. Uh, the United States tends to be a little bit behind. Um, and the other rumor would be the the fetus thing. Uh, we definitely are not. Yeah. There's there's not abortions happening next door to right. my office every day. There's no I'll, dead babies in my office. It's it's super fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm over 50, so that's new to me. So, <laughs> but so is Blink 182. So. Blink 182? No, they're still, they're definitely old. I think, <laughs> I think they're definitely old. Come on, guys. Uh, so, you know, when I was younger, I used to lift really heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of people do that, that they, they come to you still with those type of problems mm -hmm. because of heavy lifting. Because of heavy lifting? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, heavy lifting. Especially people who are competitive. That's a sport. Crossfitters, especially these days, yes. oh, man. are doing a lot of heavy lifting. Um, man, I love CrossFit. They, uh, you gotta love CrossFit. I too. love, I, I love CrossFit. <laughs> it keeps my business booming. Cross, 
CrossFit. There you go. Um, uh, competitive weightlifters. It's it, it's kind of come back around and into vogue. You know that three lift max competition, and uh, it's it's kind of fun and exciting to get some of those athletes coming in. But yeah, they're at high risk for sure. What about you, Melissa? Uh, sport, a lot of sports injury come to you guys. Yes, yeah, so I see a lot of in knee injuries due to squatting, mm -hmm. particularly. Um, a lot of torn meniscus yes. I get is from squatting, squatting heavy, squatting where the feet not at a 90 degree yes. angle, you know, inward. Um, there's just a lot of crossfitters um, mm -hmm. that are slinging weight around where they have flexibility, mm -hmm. you know, they have the flexibility to hold their arm all the way up, but they don't have the strength to hold weight at that point. So flexibility doesn't always equal strength. And a lot of times we'll get people just because you can put weight above your head doesn't mean that you should. Mm -hmm. So we get torn rotator cuffs and a lot of those types of injuries, especially CrossFit, CrossFit. related when you're throwing dumbbells up above your head. Yeah. 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 Or they're trying to do an iron cross. Yes. Right? Uh, yes. Which is the gymnastics move where you have the rings straight out. Yes. And then and you know, <laughs> and I'm like, you weigh 243 pounds. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ligaments aren't supposed to we do don't. that. Yeah. <laughs> do you get a lot of females that overtrain their gluteus muscles I... by tearing up their kneecaps, actually? I don't have a lot of people come in complaining <clears throat> about their gluteus muscles. Um, but what happens is they try to train their gluteus muscles and they injure something else. There you go. That's because, what I was. Or they're because their nervous system's not right. really operating properly. To, or back injuries. I bet you get a lot of back injuries from people trying to train legs. Back injuries from training legs. But it's funny because it doesn't show up when they're actually training. They, they do something that they probably injure it while they're training or they set it up. And then they go, oh, you know, I got up in the morning and I went to tie my shoes and I couldn't move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And that's how it happens. It's insidi insidious, right? They go, I wasn't doing anything. I'm like, well, what do you spend your time doing? Well, I lift some weights. I'm like, mm, okay. Well, could have been that. Could have been. Could have been a setup. <laughs> <laughs> could have been. But yeah, that's usually uh, that's usually um, where it comes, or they strain their hamstrings or something like that. Glutes are pretty powerful. They're pretty stable. They're not typically going to be what brings someone in. What's the case that you decide what, what you love, what you do? Wow. How can I pick one? Okay. Um, so I had a woman coming in who had had three neck surgeries, fusing vertebrae. One, you know, one, and then the next year, the next one, and the next year, the next one. And by the time she got to me, she was told she couldn't lift more than 10 pounds. Wow. Uh, she lived 40 minutes away from the clinic that I was working at. Uh, and she, uh, in order to get to the clinic, would have to lay down in the backseat of the car and have her daughter drive her to the clinic. Uh, her number one stated goal was to be able to lift her grandbabies. Uh, she was a very religious woman, and family was the most important thing uh, in a small-town family. Uh, over about nine months, um, we got her to where she could drive herself wow. initially, um, and then she could come in, and then probably the, the, the best day with that case was the day she walked in, uh, and she had... Uh, one of those newfangled Motorola cell phones, and there was a picture of her holding her grand, her grandson. Oh my gosh, I would have cried. And that, and that That's was awesome. that was a great day. Those kind of days are the days where I go, oh, man, I just love it. I mean, I, every day I have fun, but though those kind of events uh, are just are just mind blowing and heartwarming. You know, just makes it worth doing. That's awesome. You, Melissa. Me. It was my uh, our first round of patients that we had. Um, they there was four of them, and it was they had different conditions. One had COPD, one had um, fibromyalgia, and the other one uh, the other two had rheumatoid arthritis, presenting pain um, in different joints. And those four patients got their procedure done on the same day, and it was about five ish weeks later, four or five weeks later, they came back in and all of them were like, what did you put in that injection? All of them were like, this is amazing. I've never felt this good. I haven't been able to do this in years. And they'd been treating with alternative medicine 
for years, you know, and spent all this money on acupuncture and massage and like everything. And it did help. But that when they said that this changed their lives, they told everyone they knew about it. And um, I still get Christmas cards from a couple of them, actually. Nice. nice. That is awesome. <laughs> That's exciting for me to yeah. hear because I, I'm uh, I, I have a master of social work degree. Uh, my uh, ethics mm -hmm. say that my job is to put myself out of a job. Mm -hmm. So if I can't put myself out of a job with one of these clients, then I need to find who can put me out of that job. Right. So I'm excited. I'm that's excited a, that's to work really together. cool. That's really cool. That is awesome. Especially if, fibromyalgia. Do you think nutrition is important with some of the stuff that that you do or um I I think nu nutrition is incredibly important. Um eating eating the right food is is pretty important. Um I kind of want to hang back. I, I got something I want to discuss, but I want to hear what Melissa has to say. N nutrition is the, the building block of which we, we build our lives. Um, it's, it's so simple to make simple changes to improve your quality of life. So a lot of our patients are chronic pain patients. If you come to us for a consultation with chronic pain, whether you treat with us or not, I say, if you have chronic pain, you should do something to control the inflammation response, right? So what do we do? We avoid dairy, gluten, soy, sugar, alcohol, all that cause inflammation all the time. Yeah. And my favorite thing that people say is, oh, I don't eat dairy, just cheese. <laughs> right? That's still dairy. And if you eat it with every meal, um, yeah, it, and it causes more inflammation in some people than mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. But those five things yeah. really, really, if you get, just cut them out of your diet, they can help you tremendously, not just with inflammation, but with mm -hmm. feeling better, better, better digestion, yeah. all those things. So, so many things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of my favorite responses is, I eat, I eat healthy. And I go, what does that mean? <laughs> yep. What does that mean you eat healthy? You know, I, I don't I don't eat meat. I'm like, okay, what do you eat? Um, and, and and over time, I've I do a lot of TMJ work. I stick my hands in people's mouths. Some people have sharp teeth. Some people have flat teeth. <laughs> what I found over time is the people who have flat teeth tend to be vegetarian. Or I should say, my people who are vegetarian all tend to have flat teeth. So I don't know. I don't know if A leads to B or B leads to A, but there seems to be this correlation. Uh, and I've been paying closer attention to that probably the past five years. Uh, and I think there are people who are just cut out to be, to get more nutrition from plants. Nice. And some people like me who have very sharp teeth. Super sharp teeth. And super pitted. <laughs> Uh, to, who, you know, their teeth are designed to get it from from meat, and you know they they digest the given food better based on their teeth. I don't know. One day I'll get to do a meta analysis of that, but that's the kind of wheels that turn in my head. Well, the best way to find out is I mean, you can do an elimination diet, absolutely, and then figure out what causes you to feel bad and what causes you to feel good. Mm -hmm. A lot of people eat because it tastes good and, oh, it's lunchtime, it's time to eat. Yeah. But not everyone needs to eat three times a day or four mm -hmm. times a day or two right. times a day. Right. Everybody's metabolism is different. So you really need to find what foods make you feel good, what foods make you feel bad, right. Right. and the foods right. that make you feel bad, maybe we just don't eat them. Right. Yeah, be scientific <laughs> about it is, yeah. is what I encourage people to do. You know, just, just eat you know, some of something and see how you feel. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but you guys do there. believe in plant-based, obviously, right, to a certain Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, there are there are nutrients in plants that you can't get elsewhere, um, for sure. Well, the meat that we eat is um, nourished by plants. Um, right. So. Yeah, <laughs> that too. It's just 50 pounds of plants processed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about um, organic? Do you guys believe in organic, non-GMO? I, I can tell you that there have been multiple times in my office... Uh, where someone has come in, and I put my hands on their tissue. They've come in several times before, and I put my hands on them, and and I say, uh, just kind of instinctively, automatically, like, okay, what'd you change? And they go, what? And I go, you're doing something different, right? You're taking a supplement, you're eating better, you got a new bed. What are you doing different? Because your tissues are completely different. Uh, in those cases, uh, trying to think like eight out of 10, they changed their diet and started eating only organic. And eight out of 10, of, you know, based on my memory. But 
but it's they were remarkable occurrences and invariably they go oh, you can tell i'm like yes i can tell that's what i do all day i touch people all day i know what healthy tissue feels like <laughs> So, would you change? Yeah. And uh, and interestingly, I'm seeing that with stem cells too. That I put my hands on people. Uh, uh, I've got a guy I'm working with right now who has a shoulder issue, and he got stem cell injection. And over the past four weeks, every time I see him weekly, every time I work on his shoulder, the tonus in his muscle has changed, not just to to get less tonus, but to be more uniform. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he had fibers that were tight and he had fibers that were inhibited. Like some wouldn't fire at all and some were over firing. And now they're kind of all firing in this uniform smooth pattern. And it's pretty impressive. He can raise his hand over his head. Well, that's always uh, fun. And he can, <laughs> more importantly, he can sleep. Which is really sleep. important. Yeah. The... That, that was what was cr crushing him. So. <clears throat> what do you think, Melissa? About the organic? Uh, organic, non-GMO. Look, there's a stack of papers you can find anywhere on Google Scholar about the dangers of pesticides and ingesting them and also GMOs. And the big thing is with me really is pesticides. GMOs, yes, we all know they're bad, but pesticides kill living things, yes. right? Yes. We're a living thing. Yeah. Why yeah. do we want to put those poisons yeah. in our in our body? Um, your body should be nourished, not Poison, poison, right? And those things cause inflammation, which yeah. cause pain. Which so, cause pain. Yeah. right, which causes lack of sleep, which causes more inflammation, which causes uh, more pain. So, horm <laughs> hormone dysfunction, dysregulation, mm -hmm. uh, uh, brainwave dysregulation, right? Uh, which is going to turn to memory problems mm -hmm. and kids' behavioral problems. Absolutely. I, uh, you know, tons and tons of work done on just cleaning up diets and mm -hmm. eliminating pesticides. Pesticides are, are, and herbicides are, are really rough, uh, which reminds me of one of my favorite memes. Tell me. I love a, them. A chef standing over a plate of food, and he says, and here we have delicious food that when eaten by insects will explode their stomachs. <laughs> I was but it's okay for you. Thing. But it's okay. I was going to say the same, same thing. Same thing. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, if an insect sits on top of it and die, what do you think is going to happen to you when you're eating in a large amount? You know, it just yeah. it doesn't take a rocket scientist, really. No, you know, no. um, uh, actually, um, one of my family member, I'm not going to say his name. He's uh, the head of NCI, National Cancer Institution, and uh, I was over his house a couple of weeks ago, and he told me that just changing from regular food to organic non-GMO it drops you uh, uh, chances of having cancer between 60 to 70 percent. Mm -hmm. This is one of the top guy at NCI that who told me that. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. you know, it's mind blowing that what food can do. But what's awesome is that all three of us. I really haven't talked to any of them about organic non-GMO before. We all agree uh, exactly the same way about. Of right. that subject. I want to thank both of you. Thank you so much for coming down here. Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to be a regular part of our team, maybe even come aboard as uh, part of our Board of Scientists Advisory. <clears throat> They're some of the best in the country. And uh, I want to thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, and I really want to work with both of you. And maybe we can do some great stuff to teach and educate people in a, in a larger scale. Thanks for having awesome. us. Thank you so much. Thanks, Wayne. Hey guys, don't forget to comment, like, and share. Also make sure to click that subscribe button below and I will do everything I can to answer it as fast as I can.